So let's go to the next slide. Here we go. Here we go. There's the verse. There's the verse. Matthew 6, 33. Now, this is the King James Version. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Who has read that verse before? All right. Who believes you understand that verse? Some of y'all going, he's trying to trick me. I ain't putting my hand up there. All right. You believe you understand it? Praise the Lord. All right, watch this. The few of you put your hands up and say you understand it. Who believes that you can understand it more? I heard a thank you. I heard a saying uh, just this week, and that is, preacher said, I, I left some meat on that bone. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are like my mother and your mother. They, your, her mother and my mother, they don't leave any meat on the bone. But, 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 but especially if it's a chicken wing. If it's a chicken wing, it's gone. There ain't no meat. But how many of you know that when you read a verse, there's still some meat on the bone? Uh-huh. So now let's look to the Amplify and see what it says. It says, but seek. All right. Now, if you were going to study this on your own with a strong concordance, you would have to look up the word seek in the Greek. Yes. They did the work for you. Amen. Somebody say executive summary. <laughs> in other words, cliff notes. Look what they said. The word seek means to aim at and strive after. Mm -hmm. To aim at and strive after. Somebody say aim at. Strive after. Strive after. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> My time is up. <laughs> to the end of this. Amen and strive after, first of all, his kingdom and his righteousness. Now, what does that mean, his righteousness? It means his way of doing and being right. So you have to aim at and strive after his kingdom. Which, by the way, his kingdom is invisible. Uh-oh. So I'm aiming at, has anybody ever had any target practice? Anybody, anybody ever had tried to shoot something? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, gotta, you, you, you have to have a sight, right? Yeah, you got to get it in the crosshairs. Now, that's a natural target. He's telling you to aim at, aim at. And strive after something that you can't see with your natural eyes. Somebody say, I'm getting some revelation here. Yeah, and then he said, that kingdom that you can't see with your natural eyes is his way of doing and being right. Then he says, if you do that first, then all these things, meaning natural things, Material things taken together will be given to you besides. Guess what? We're in this world, but we're not of this world. But people who are in this world and of this world, you know what they do? They aim at and they strive after material success. I got I got Pastor, I ain't got no time to come to church. Pastor, I don't have no time to pray. Pastor, I don't have no time to study because I'm, I'm aiming at success. I'm aiming at material success. I'm aiming at that promotion. I'm aiming at that better job. I'm aiming at that fame fortune. And I believe that God has uniquely chosen me to teach true prosperity because he allowed me to be exposed to false prosperity. Yeah. Yeah. He allowed me to go yeah. to Washington, D.C., to the Congress. He allowed me to see the White House, the Congress, the President, and all that stuff, and all these people who everybody says are successful, but they're cheating on their wives, ain't got no time for their children, and wouldn't know Jesus if he came up and hugged them. In other words, they're aiming at and striving after the wrong thing. And my time is up and I have to come back. God bless you. Heads are bowed. Eyes are closed. Saints are praying. 